Welcome back fellow aircraft builders and aviation enthusiasts. Uh, today's video is just a couple of uh, little announcements, a shout out, and a little bit of information about the uh, aircraft project. As you can see in front of me, these are the corner extrusions for the rear fuselage longerons. And this is a critical part of the aircraft. These are custom extrusions that Zenith sells. And I believe there's a mill in down in Brazil or someplace in South America that actually makes these, but you can order them directly from Zenith for scratch building purposes. And it takes four of them. They're about 13 and a half feet long, so they're really expensive to ship via freight if these are the only parts that you're buying. Part of what I want to talk about today is the importance of networking with other builders. Uh, through my YouTube channel and being a member of a few forums, I was able to network with a husband and wife team that are building a Zenith cruiser and they ordered their kit several months ago and took delivery of it two days ago. And because I had networked with them on one of the forums, uh, they also happened to be one of my YouTube uh, subscribers, I reached out to them to see if they'd be willing to allow me to have my longerons thrown in with their order. And so they agreed that that would be fine and we contacted Zenith and set that up and it ended up being no additional freight charges for their thousand pound full kit box. So I just wanted to illustrate that as a very important part of building your airplane. You do really need to network with other builders and keep in touch with other folks. Uh, they, they can offer you a lot of help, a lot of assistance. And for us scratch builders in particular, uh, it can be a bit of a financial assistance as well. The freight charges on these four pieces, because they have to go by truck, would be approximately 200 to $250 just for this 20 pounds worth of metal, if it's even that heavy. So I just wanted to illustrate that. I wanted to give a huge shout out and my thanks to Oliver and Martina. You know who you are. Thank you so much for allowing me to throw in with your order to get these custom extrusions and save me a little bit of shipping costs. I really do appreciate it and it's going to help out with the build process quite a bit. Another little importance of networking with other builders, I have an exciting announcement to make. The host of the EvaDot podcast, his name is Michael, and he's also a fellow uh, aircraft builder and a fellow Zenith builder. He's working also on a cruiser from a kit and happens to be uh, on YouTube as well. And I'll link down below in the description to his channel as well as to his podcast. But he asked me to be on his podcast. And so last week on May 19th, I was a guest on his podcast and we spent about an hour talking about Zenith projects and experimental aviation and everything else. So I wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to check that out if you're interested. It was, a, it was a fun podcast to do, and it was an honor to be asked to be on his podcast. I've never been on a podcast before, so it was a lot of fun. But uh, if you have more interest in experimental aviation, including Zenith aircraft or my Corvair engine conversion, uh, we get into a lot about the pros and cons and feasibility of building an aircraft as well as what it takes to be a builder and learn how to do this. So anyway, good information for everybody to check out. And the last bit of information I have is I uh, got two big rolls of aluminum here from Aircraft Spruce that just came in, which means I now have enough material to do everything except for, I think, two fuselage side skins. I think I only need two or three more sheets now of 20 thousandths, as long as I don't screw anything up <laughs> between now and then. So I've got all the material I need to basically build the airplane with the exception of those couple of skins. And that is it. So enough to do the wings, enough to do the most of the cabin, and uh, enough to finish the other control surfaces and the tail surfaces. So really excited about that. That's going to be enough material to last me quite a while. I'm real happy we got that stuff in. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm going to get back to the uh, build footage after this video. That's all for this video. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe, and let me know if you have any requests for future video content. As always, thanks for watching and good luck with your projects.